So what's up, YouTube? I just wanted to make a real quick video. I was up, um, got out, watched uh, a few videos um, from the brother Ticket TV, and then another really good video from the brother General Africa. Check out their channels, man. Subscribe to those brothers. They, they put a lot of real good content out there, especially concerning black people and black lives. There is a, uh, a narrative in this country that has been presented by white people. Anytime you want to get over on the system for whatever reason, you blame a black person for a crime, a crime that you yourself commit. It has happened throughout history countless times, more times than can actually be fucking reported. I mean, first you have the um, the white couple that claim that Black Lives Matter broke into their fucking house via their garage or some shit and stole ten thousand dollars worth of jewelry and spray painted Black Lives Matter on the garage door. Why in the fuck would Black Lives Matter do some shit like that and then implicate themselves in the crime? That's asinine. Or the white dude who who um, vandalizes on truck and sprayed Black Lives Matter on the truck and then admitted that he did it just so the insurance company could get him a new truck. You know what I'm saying? Or the Amanda Knox. Was it Amanda Knox? I watched that shit on Netflix about uh, her roommate getting raped and killed. And the first person she blamed was the black bar owner that she worked for. She instantly pinned that pinned that crime on that brother right there. Instantly. Why would I believe anything this white bitch had to say about anything? And she blamed a man who did not commit the crime. And in more stories, in this count of stories, the white woman who drowned her kids in a car and blamed a black man for it. And the thing is that white people have created this narrative. This is something that they do. This is something that they've been doing for fucking centuries. You understand? Something they've been doing for centuries. Black men, black and Latino men have been going to prison for shit that white people have done to themselves or someone else has perpetrated against them. For fucking decades. And white people, as soon as a white person makes the claim, white police departments, white people fucking form lynch mobs, and they go after us. Even though history has shown that white people generally are lying about a lot of these situations. They will lie about this shit. What about the white dude who said that him and his wife were coming from a birthing class? They got lost. In a city that they fucking live in, mind you. Live and work in probably all their lives. They got lost in the black side of town. His wife got murdered. He got shot. They found out that his dumb ass was lying. He threw himself off a fucking bridge and killed himself. Who in the fuck does this kind of shit? Look at the mentality of the people who are making these claims. These are white people making these claims. Accusing Black men mostly of crimes that they themselves have committed or blamed a black man of a crime that has not even been committed just for the sole purpose of advancing white supremacy racism. Black people, look, if there was ever a time for us to fucking get the fucking picture, it is now. If, it, if there was ever a time for us to get the picture, it is now. Wake up, man. Seriously. They don't like us, and they will do anything they can to destroy us just out of pure, unadulterated fucking hatred. They don't even understand or can e can't even rationalize intelligently their hatred for black people. They just know that they fucking have it. That's it. They just know that they do. It's been passed down from generation to generation to generation. You understand? Just like a mother teaches her daughter, her children how to cook, and you take those same cooking techniques with you throughout your life and you teach your children the same way white supremacy is passed down through the generations. White people don't stop teaching their children how to hate just because a few liberal white people wake up and say, oh, well, I don't have anything against black people, so why should I hate them? But secretly, you all are prejudiced and bigoted towards us in some way, shape, or form. This is just the way our minds have been programmed in this country. Hell, black people hate themselves. But irrespective of that, that is no reason to accuse innocent people of crimes that they did not commit. Now, sure, a lot of these cases, the black people were exonerated some 20 years after the fact. Some of the people have been executed and then they get exonerated and get their name cleared. Okay, thanks for that, but it's fucking 70 years too late for that. Who the fuck cares? 
Who the fuck cares? If justice is supposed to be blind and it's supposed to work, it shouldn't take 70 years after a person has been fucking executed to exonerate them. It shouldn't take 20 years to find out that a man who was accused of rape and there was no physical evidence, DNA evidence, whatsoever, fucking ever, and he had eyewitness testimony claiming that he wasn't there should spend 20 or 30 years in fucking prison because white people want him there. Because white people want justice. How the fuck is it justice if it's not the actual person who committed the crime being punished? That's not fucking justice. White people don't want justice. They want revenge. And they don't give a fuck who has to pay the price for that revenge. They will fucking hang you, string you up by your fucking toes and slit your stomach open to get revenge. Again, it's not justice they're looking for. It's vengeance they're looking for. It's vengeance. And they always get up and at them when it's a white person that's quote unquote the victim of a crime. They never ask, they, they never investigate fully. They believe instantly what the fucking white person says. What about the white woman who stole money from the law firm she worked for? To take her door and, 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 uh, and accuse black men of kidnapping, kidnapping her and holding her for ransom. Just to find out she took a fucking door to the Disney World. Look, you make up your mind for yourself. I don't trust I don't trust any white person as far as I can smell their asses. I'm telling you right now. I don't trust them as far as I can smell them. I don't trust the motherfuckers that I can smell. Man, protect yourself. Keep yourself safe. Keep your circle short. You understand? Keep your circle short with no blemishes. If your whole page is black, don't get no white out on that sheet. That's all I'm saying. If you got a if you got a black a black sheet, don't let no white out get on that shit. That's all I'm saying. Keep your circle pure. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that you can't converse or associate or even acquaint yourself with white people. Just fucking be careful because they have a history of being conniving, corrupt, backstabbing, asshats. Again, I wish we could live in a fucking world in a society where this wasn't the case. But you have to fucking protect yourself. Black people are looking at each other like the enemy and the real enemy is standing adjacent to our asses laughing at us while we blow each other's fucking brains out for what look at the end of the day man keep yourself safe keep yourself out of harm's way because these motherfuckers have it in for us their entire system well maybe not the entire system but a large portion of the system especially the ju judicial system was designed to keep us con contained, compartmentalized, and enslaved. Remember that. Remember that. This system wasn't designed for our freedom, peace, or liberty. It was designed for their freedom, peace, and liberty. And as long as they exist, they will never have that. They will always have to find someone to make an enemy of. They fucking hate themselves. So what makes you think they love you more than they love them? And as much as they hate each other, they will band together to execute and crucify your black ass. I'm out.